you welcome to cafe no man welcome to our reaction to kutni burnett we are going to react to the song the preston kutni burnett and the song is the best on the best on first time single day yeah. honest reaction coming your way requested by thomas let's get started you said we should look out further i guess it wouldn't hurt us We don't have to be around all these coffee shops. Now we got that percolator. Never made a latte greater. I'm saving twenty-three dollars a week. We drive to a house in Preston. We see police.
well sung, well sung by her. She's got that uh, nice uh, voice, you know, reminds me so much of this actress. Can't tell you, I must uh, tell her name though. Joey Deschanel from that movie Yes Man as well as the show that she has. Reminds me so much of her voice, this singer. I don't know if she doubles up as a singer for her uh, sometimes. She sounds so much like Joey Deschanel, uh, the actress from Yes Man, as well as that show, the TV show that she has with four guys, living with four guys. Uh, three guys or four guys, I don't remember. Anyway, this was uh, this was typical Saturday afternoon or Sunday afternoon music. You know, it's laid back, it's kind of relaxing but it has so much information at the same time it won't put you to sleep because of that but at the same time it's relaxing you know it's it's comforting it's a lot of stuff is happening in the music but you don't really care because you just are uh, hooked on to the voice of this artist as well as that uh, tweaking like sound of the guitar you know in the background so yeah it's a little bit unique it's uh, yeah it's saturday afternoon music Basically, weekend music. Listen to it on a weekend afternoon and not much else to it really. It's also about somebody's um, state of mind being so bored with everything, don't know what to do, hopeless. Uh, everything is there yet don't know what exactly is to be done and don't know what exactly should be done to make a change or make a difference in their life. So she wants to, uh, you know, just break something, restart, maybe construct something new. A lot of people do a lot of construction work when they don't know what exactly to do with their life. And they they are out of ideas. So they have no clue uh, what should be done with their time and they start building, rebuilding and things like that. Um, it's loneliness and, uh, you know, just feeling unwanted completely, which makes people, you know, just... Uh, resort, resort to all kinds of uh, uh, things that they think may help them. Uh, they are basically asking for help and there are not too many people who are around them to listen to them, understand them or support them in any other way and uh, they themselves don't know what is to be done. So some people make it through, some people don't. Some people have a complete change around because you know whatever happens, happens for good for them. Uh, but uh, this is one such song that made it, you know, connect with a lot of people. I really don't understand the um, basic idea behind these songs. Is it the artist who was going through su such a state of mind? Or is it made for people who are going through something like that? And if it is made for them, what exactly is the song supposed to do to help them out? That I don't get. So I, you know, fail to understand the basic idea or basic uh, thought process behind creating such songs when they are made like that uh, which I don't see helping out such people or whether they actually end up listening to it or not uh, but it's made all kinds of music is uh, you know good uh, it's good to have variety and diversity but at the same time I don't know if it was actually the state of mind of the artist herself or himself when they created it yeah it's a typical uh, song where she's uh, talking about a life you know maybe at a coffee shop she's working there owns a place who knows but she ends up saving some money by making a couple of uh, making an, a change in ingredients used and then uh, or equipment used then she's uh, talking about a city named Preston I guess that's how the song title comes about and uh, out there the police are arresting someone while she's heading back home and things like that mm -hmm. so I like the name of the song depressed in because it matches with the name of the city mm -hmm. Preston and also it's a playful way to say depression mm -hmm. so possibly she's going through a bout of depression or many bouts of depression yeah. and she's singing about it and there may be many who will connect with it but like Kirti said where's the solution what is the solution is it actually a solution is it a viable solution is it a solution that will work is will it make you more depressed uh, I remember that song Lemon Tree you know I said this is a weekend afternoon song mm -hmm. not a weekend morning or weekend evening song a Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening song another song which is pretty much in the same group but sounds quite different is Lemon Tree mm -hmm. you know so if you've heard that song sitting here in the afternoon na -na 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 -na. just another lemon tree 
It's a very catchy song. If you've heard it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You'll remember it instantly. If you've heard but it that before. doesn't depress you. Yeah, so that doesn't depress you. It's a similar situation where a person just is completely bored on one Sunday afternoon, doesn't know what to do with his time. Everything is just, uh, you know, all around him, everyone's just doing their own thing. And he's completely isolated and feeling lonely. But it's a great song. You listen to that song many times over. And especially on a Sunday afternoon, bored or not bored, you'll connect with that song and you'll want to listen to it. Yes. I've heard that song many times, you I know, uh, since we reacted to it and even before that I heard it. Wonderful, wonderful song. Great song. So this is kind of like that, but not entertaining like that. No. And doesn't really serve a purpose because by itself is not making you feel better. No, it isn't. Yeah. It sounds like Joey Deschanel. Yeah. 